All right, folks, so on the last uh, episode of PV Academy, I explained to you guys, taught you guys the difference between the different sampling methods, and today we're going to be looking at a little, uh, something a little bit more deep than that, so it'll take a little bit more, a little bit more work than it did uh, last time around. So what we're going to be uh, doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to calculate standard deviation, standard sample variance, as well as population variance. Uh, and we will be looking at how to calculate those different ones. I will be demonstrating these to you by giving a basic explanation on top of. And on top of that, there will be some practice questions we're going to be looking at. So I've actually pulled up uh, some of the equations here for what we're going to be looking at. So you have to know which one you're using. And it'll tell you in the question. You Because you have to know between whether or not you're using population or standard deviation because they have a slight difference in their equation, which is that, you know, in the, in the sample standard deviation that you're doing, you divide by one uh, number lower than the total numbers of the data values that you have, whereas in the, uh, in the population uh, variance, what you're actually doing instead is you're just doing it with the number, as you can see from the population standard uh, deviation up here. What you are doing is just a you know, total data value set. You're doing the total number. So you have to know which one you're doing first, okay? It'll tell you in the question, so you'll know. So there are different formulas, and that's why you need to know the difference. So here's the question we're going to be looking at. First of the questions. It says, the high temperature in Celsius on the first day of winter was recorded in a certain city every year from 1915 to 2015. The following six temperature values are a sample chosen from the data. What is the sample variance of these temperatures? So already we know that it's the sample instead of the population. So we already know that the, um, the equation is going to be this one we're looking at here. So uh, essentially we're going to start out with, and I'm going to have to pull up a couple more windows in here. We've got a calculator up in the top right-hand corner. In the bottom right hand corner we'll have a notepad because it's where we're going to place all the uh, all the numbers out on so right now what we see is we have uh these digits right these values these data values if you will right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to write them down in this notepad and what you're looking at is there are a total of six digits so what we got to do is first we need to find the mean of these digits that's what we first need to do so uh to do that you know four you know, plus 12. Obviously, if you're finding the mean, just the average, which means you just add up all the digits and then divide them by how many there are. So this is what we got. Total is 48. And uh, as I explained earlier, there are six digits. So what that means is you divide by six. And what we have here is a number of eight. Our mean, that's what we're going to write down here, mean equals, equals eight. So, so far, so good. We got our mean in place our mean is 8 now what we have to do is we have to take every single value every single digit that's in here every single data point that's in this set of values we need to go 4 minus 8 and we just have to subtract it by the mean so 12 minus 8 that obviously is 4 you know 6 minus 8 of course is negative 2 you know 9 minus 8 of course is 1 6 minus 8, again, of course, is negative 2. And 11 minus 8 is 3, all right? Now, what we have to do is we need to square every single value that we have gotten from here, okay? So 4 squared, of course, is 16. And we're going to be adding them all up. 4 squared is 16 again. 2 squared is 4. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. And 3 squared is 9. That is our number and so what we need to do now is we need to add these up so we're gonna take this right 16 plus 16 plus 4 and then plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 and <clears throat> currently right now we have a total number a total value of 50 now here is where the key comes in in which you're talking about make sure you know which whether it's sample or its population because with population right now what you'd be doing is you'd be dividing by one less number but because what we're doing or sorry if you're doing population you're not subtracting by less than the uh, total digit uh, the number the total number of data values 
what we're doing because we're using sample instead of population, we're going to be subtracting one from that data set, the amount of digits, which there are six digits. So what that means is instead of dividing by six, we're going to divide by five. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to take that total and we will, div oh, sorry, I actually fucked that up. Hold on. So we got to re-add the digits here because I misclicked that. So 16, 16, 4, 1, 4, 9, and we get 50. That is divided by 5. That puts us at a total of 10. That is our number. That is the number that we currently have in place. So that all together is 50. Then we divide that by 5, and that gives us a total of 10. So what we're asked here for right now is we are asked for the sample variance. So down here, as it explains here essentially, is that you need to take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. So what that means is we already have the variance. Okay, that's what we have. So the variance is, a, is total 10 is the number, as you can see here. And of course, it says correct, because that's the variance. So you know, when you get the variance, what you do with it, as it explains here, you take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. Now, there's a chance it gives me a follow-up question. Um, <clears throat> so, it gives us, in this one, I believe it's just the same data set. It is. Now, it's saying, okay, how do you find the, uh, given the sample variance, which is 10, how do you find the standard, uh, you know, sample uh, standard deviation? The answer to that, of course, is you take the 10, okay? So, we take 10, okay? And what we do is we take the square root of 10. Sorry. Take square root of 10. 3, that gives us 3.16, okay, and it tells us one decimal point, all right? So that means we have to round to whatever the number to the right of 1 is. As you guys see, it's 3.16. If it's above 5, 5 or above, that means that you, you obviously raise it. So that puts us at a magical number of 3.2. That is our sample standard deviation in this situation. Gives us 3.2, of course, again. Now we have another uh, type of question that you may run into here that's important to note as well. And this is essentially differentiating a sample standard deviation and a population standard deviation. Which one do you employ? So this question asks, a small apple tree produced exactly five apples last year. Their weight in grams are listed below. To determine the spread of this data, would you employ calculations for the sample standard deviation? or population standard deviation for this data set. So basically the way to understand this essentially is if it gives you a certain amount, like how it says small apple tree created five apples, um, you know, and they're all listed here, that means it's population. Now if it said uh, a small apple tree produced five, uh, the person randomly chose three, now you're looking at a sample instead of a population. So that's just easy way to understand just how, uh, you know, those two differ. Now, we're going to do is we're going to do this second example here so it, it's a follow-up but we're going to be redoing the whole variance stuff so small apple tree produced exactly five apples last year their weight in grams are listed below and they give us the data values 88 97 90 93 82 and it says what is the variance of this data set now of course we know that this is a population standard deviation so this is actually going to be slightly slightly different from last time around because as you guys know, instead of it being n minus one at the end, it's just going to be it's just going to be n instead of n minus one, as you can see up here. So when we head over back here and we pull back up our calculator and our notepad back onto the screen, what we can do is we can clear out we can clear out the notepad because we're getting prepared for another question. Same thing goes uh, sorry, same thing goes for here. So uh, well, we're looking at this, of course. We've got 88, we've got 88, 97, 90, 93, and 82. Those are the amount of digits we have. We have five digits. So what we have to do, of course, is find the mean. That is always what you first have to do. So we got 88, 88 plus 97, plus 90, plus 93, and then 82. That is what we have here. So, um... My apologies, I actually uh, need to reset that because I incorrectly placed that in. So 90 plus 93 plus 82. 
we got 450, all right? And then make sure you don't forget, obviously, to divide it by the amount of digits you have, which is five. So it's 450 divided by five, which means the mean is 90. That's what our mean is, okay? It's our average, it's a mean, very, very crucial, of course. Now remember, what do you have to do after you find the mean? What you need to do is you need to take every single data value, you need to d subtract the mean from that data value. So here we got negative two, got 97 minus 90, which is the mean, puts us at seven. Then we got 90 minus 90, puts us at zero. 93 minus 90 puts us at three. And then 82 minus 90 puts us at negative eight. Now what we need to do is we need to square all of these values. So we go four, of course, two squared is four, seven squared is 49, zero squared is zero, three squared is nine, and eight squared is 64. And then we need to add up all these values. So what we're gonna do here over on the calculator is add up all of these digits. So four plus 49 plus nine, and then plus 64. Those are the numbers that we shall be adding here. So <clears throat> we take that, then we divide by five. Recall this is unique for the population because instead of doing uh, the sample standard deviation, what we're doing is population standard deviation. So here it's crucial to recall that in this situation, you'll be dividing it by the number of total digits instead of doing it minus one. So what you're looking at here now is 25.2 is our number. That is what we get. We get the 25.2 number. And that, that, my folks, gives us the variance. This is the variance. When you first get that number, that is the variance. So the question asks us, what is the variance of this data set? Well, folks, it's 25.2, as you guys can see here. And I'm assuming it's going to give me a follow-up question here. It does. Then it asks me, well, what's the standard deviation of this? Well, what is it now? Remember, to find the standard deviation, what you do is you take the square root of the variance. So what we need to do is we need to calculate the, um, <clears throat> we need to do is calculate the square root of the variance, which is 25.2. That puts us at 5.01. So that puts us at 5.0. Remember, you got to round to one decimal place. It's 5.01 means it's 5.0. That is our answer. So it's just five and kablam. So that is how you calculate uh, population standard deviation, sample standard deviation, variance, population variance, sample variance. And I hope that helped you very much.